with NFL Network now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The Lions took down the Bucks 31-23 to advance to their first NFC Championship game since the 1991 season. Jared Goff, with 287 yards and a pair of scores, as the Lions will now travel to Santa Clara to face the 49ers for the NFC title. For the Bucks, Baker Mayfield for 349 yards and three touchdowns, but through two crucial interceptions, one to Derek Barnes with under two minutes to go to seal the game. In the AFC, Tyler Bass missed a potential game-tying field goal with under two minutes left as the Chiefs eliminated the Bills 27-24 to advance to the AFC Championship. Patrick Mahomes threw for 215 yards and two scores. Mahomes and the Chiefs will face the Ravens in their sixth straight AFC title game appearance. The Bills season ends in the divisional round for the third consecutive. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your timeshare or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. And we are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXOL Centro, California. Good morning, Gene. Let's celebrate a Monday, okay? Hey, why not? Uh, we can't celebrate uh, a Tuesday yet, so let's do a Monday. Let's do a Monday, January 22nd, 2024. Okay, well, we will celebrate some birthdays today, and uh, we will reminisce just a bit. Okay, January 21st, 1962. Very important date in uh, the history of El Centro and the Imperial Valley. Do you know what happened then? Yep, it was red hot that day at uh, the Barbara Worth Hotel. Well, good. Now, I was not here. I, I was in Kalamazoo, Michigan at the time. And, uh, well, it did not make national news coverage, so... I was not aware of it until I got to the valley and saw the uh, the hulk of what was left of the hotel at uh, 7th and Main in downtown El Centro. So, I, you know, that's before my time in the valley. But Bill Gay was on, uh, well, he was recording the coverage that KXO provided of the uh, fire to include at one point the late Dick Matahano in the lobby of the hotel on a payphone as it burned. So uh, we will share just a snippet of uh, what's left of uh, that uh, that recording. Uh, yes. And then it started coming up, but they thought, of course, that they could contain this fire, that it wasn't of any great proportion at all, but then it just completely got out of hand. Engulfed the main floor. At one time, KXO did direct to Dick Mahal. was right in the main floor of the Bar Wars Hotel, right next to the desk, reporting the fire. They were fighting in the inside of the hotel. Later from that time, they had to be moved outside and directly across from the Bar Wars to a telephone booth there, which is directly across the street and right in front of Phil's uh, service station. Well, that's where we started broadcasting from at that time and stayed there until the uh, heat of the flames was so bad that we had to be moved back to approximately right across the street from the Fox Theater. After they contained the main blaze, of course, and the only thing to stop it was to completely make a shell of this historic structure, the Bob Worth Hotel. Then we started moving back into the scene, and right now we're just about where we were at the one time at the telephone booth. Uh, of course, we're not broadcasting by telephone anymore, but right from the uh, Mobile News Unit. And the thing to watch as far as reporting this fire now is the, the top 
floor of the Harborwood Annex, which is directly over the offices of the Imperial Irrigation District and uh, Fugate uh, Real Estate Company and a few of those businesses there. And then, of course, this is the part that is also the next structure to the west is Stan's Furniture, and you just heard Stan on KXO Radio a moment ago. And then from Stan's Furniture Store, then it's uh, McMahon's Furniture Store. I see Bill Duwan coming by. Uh, and that, uh, the voice of Gordon Belson, the late Gordon Belson, uh, reporting. And as you heard him mention, uh, Dick Matahano at one point broadcasting from uh, the lobby of the hotel as it burned. Right. And uh, the, what did they say about San Stan? About they had just spoken with Stan of Stan's Furniture about uh, the devastation to his store. Do you remember the saying that they used all around town? No. Stan, Stan, the ball-headed furniture man. I missed that one. Okay. How about some birthdays today? Are you ready? I'm ready. Singer Steve Perry is 75. Actor John Wesley Shipp is 69. Actor Linda Blair, 65. Rapper, actor, DJ Jazzy Jeff. Yeah, not Will Smith. He's 59. Actor Diane Lane, 59. Actor Olivia Dabo is 55. Actor mm -hmm. Katie Finneran is 53. Actor Balthazar Getty, 49. Actor Christopher Kennedy Masterson, 44. Local birthdays, we've got some. Let's celebrate today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Addison Pena. Packer Popejoy, Erica Perez Orozco, Derek Butler, Peggy Williams, Manuel Vasquez Sr., Damian Sanchez, Francis Ward, Jesus Lopez, Dalton Mendoza, Raul De La Torre, Christina Harrison, Darren Marquez, David Sidhu, Derek Everhart, Don Lamb, Dorothy Lee, Gerardo Romero, Jerome McMillan, Kina Halcon, Lupe Rodriguez, Raylene Vance, Ruth Perry, Tammy Buck, Madison Hamilton, Emma Trinidad, Maritza Arredondo, Bertie Cota, and Tristan Villalobos. Happy birthday from KXO. Happy, happy birthday to you all. Yep. Okay, and happy birthday to your grandson, Tristan. Yes, sir, Reed. Tristan, I know you can't hear me right now where you are, but uh, happy birthday. We'll talk to you later. Well, he can always tune in to the KXO YouTube channel. He could do that. Yes. But uh, he's working this morning. He's busy learning, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we've got uh, news to share and a few other things. Uh, this, um, well, it's kind of a, a warning from AM 1230. Thousands of body massagers are being recalled due to a fire risk. Home Medics says some of their therapist massagers can overheat and make the devices dangerous. Or depending on your point of view, more exciting. That's right. It's yeah. all on how you look at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got World in California news headlines right now, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. One day before the New Hampshire Republican primary, the editors of the union leader newspaper say both Donald Trump and President Joe Biden are too old to be president again. They quoted Jurassic Park, the movie, and said Biden and Trump are dinosaurs. They endorsed Haley and said she's the, quote, fireball from the heavens to wipe them out. CBS is Tony DeCopel in Manchester, New Hampshire. A late night recommendation from the FAA. Airlines should inspect their Boeing 737-900ER jet. CBS's Cammie McCormick tells us why. This recommendation comes after some airlines reported issues with bolts during inspections. It follows the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes after a cabin door plug blew out in flight. After four to five miserable days, that cold snap is receding for millions of Americans. We're expecting the warm-up to continue down through the mid-Atlantic states, down into the southeast portions of Florida. All these temperatures will start to recover to near or somewhat above normal. Odyssey meteorologist Craig Allen, CBS News Brief. I'm Vicki Barker. 
Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News, vigil in Monterey Park on the first anniversary of the dance studio shooting that left 11 people dead. Among those speaking, Brandon Sy, the hero who stopped the gunman from shooting more people at another dance studio in Alhambra. Together, we are not just victims. We are a community of heroes that thrives from a brighter and safer future without gun violence. President Biden issuing a statement marking the anniversary of the shooting. Thousands of professors, lecturers, librarians, and counselors off the job today on 23 CSU campuses. A really high union membership, and we just believe that this is actually our moment to draw a line in the sand and say, no, it is time for better. Professor Kate Osmond, the strike scheduled to last five days, a deal reached with Teamsters averting another strike of skilled campus trade workers. Northern California experiencing ongoing rounds of rain and snow, heavy rainfall and gusty winds today. Areas of the region with down power lines, mudslides, landslide concerns in Southern California's Topanga Canyon. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair or for replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning. I tried to quit smoking cigarettes probably hundreds of times over the years. Two or three days into quitting again, I go get into a vehicle. And guess what? There's a pack of cigarettes in there. I mean, I've got the unlit cigarette in my hand. And I said to myself, why do I even try to quit when I, if I'm going to cave so easily every time? Something clicked in my head that told me I can do this. Every attempt is part of your story to quit for good. Visit Kick It California today at kickitca.org. Jackson Hewitt has a plan to get your tax refund fast. With a buck, buck here, a buck, buck there. Here, a buck, there, a buck, everywhere, a buck, buck. You don't have to wait weeks for your tax refund. Get money sooner with a no-fee refund advance loan at Jackson Hewitt. On this loan, there's a money today guarantee. E-I-E-I-D-O. Don't settle for chicken feed. Get fast bucks at Jackson Hewitt today. No-fee refund advance loans by Republic Bank offered to eligible clients. Money today guarantee if approved for a loan on a prepaid card. Details at jacksonhewitt.com. Is page one of the local news, page one, a service of Quick Lane, Tyron Auto Centers, three locations in the valley, and mobile vans that go where you are. It's Quick Lane, servicing all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look uh, at the latest in local news, approximately $500 worth of copper was stolen from an El Centro business. The theft uh, was reported Thursday morning and occurred at the Simplot facility on Dannenberg Road. According to the report, a man about five foot eight inches wearing a hoodie and jeans and another suspect about five foot six inches uh, wearing jeans, a hoodie and a face mask cut the fence and stole the copper. The damage to the fence uh, was estimated at $200. The Calipatria City Council will meet tomorrow. The council will consider a resolution authorizing the release of an invitation for bids for the Calipatria Eastside Storm Water Drainage Improvement Project. The council will also consider a request for excess COVID trailers for Imperial County. The uh, closed session of the meeting will consider lease agreements with the Lions Club, Chamber of Commerce, uh, Little League, and County of Imperial. Closed session uh, starts at 5.30 p.m., open session at 6 p.m. The meeting will be held in the council chambers of Calipatria City Hall. KXO News Time coming up to 743. 
How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs, and it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentralMotors.net. El Central Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Residents uh, of El Centro are invited to spend uh, today with the mayor. Mayor Sylvia Modiquin uh, will meet with residents to discuss uh, concerns and suggestions for improving the quality of life in the city. The meetings will be on Mondays once a month in a casual setting at a local small business. The first uh, Monday with the mayor will be uh, today from 8 a.m. till 9 a.m. at uh, Sweet Nothings Pasty and uh, Coffee Shop. That's at 115 South 6th Street in downtown El Centro. Well, that uh, concludes this edition of Local News. Page 2, though, coming up. Page 1 of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, Three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors in the Brawley Auto Center and at uh, the Imperial Valley Mall. And, of course, their mobile service vans. It's the Peanut Patch in Yuma. The Peanut Patch. What a great place to and to enjoy. They're open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 5, Yuma time. And the store carries so many homemade, delicious chocolates, English toffee, pecan turtles, so many great things. Yeah, so much more than peanuts. The Peanut Patch. You get there by going to Yuma. Take Avenue 3E and go past MCAS Yuma until you come to East County 13th Street, turn left. And go for about another mile and a half and you're at the peanut patch. The peanut patch. You know, they're so big, they even have their own post office. Mm -hmm. They'll ship anywhere in the universe from the peanut patch. It's a great way to spend a day, a Saturday or any day, a quick getaway that you will enjoy. The peanut patch in Yuma. Page two of the local news and weather, all brought to you by Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in town. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. A domestic violence uh, report revealed military grade ordinance. Imperial County Sheriff's deputies uh, responded to a residence uh, north of Nyland on Wednesday, January the 17th after receiving a report of domestic violence. The victim suffered minor injuries and refused medical attention. The suspect, 43-year-old Buck Blevins, fled the, the scene before deputies arrived. As deputies searched the premises for Blevins, they found military ordnance, including bomb parts, grenades, and live ammunition. A further search led to the discovery of gunpowder, explosive materials, detonation uh, COD, uh, blasting caps, and several uh, firearms. Personnel from nearby Camp Billy Machen, uh, bomb squad personnel from Imperial County Fire Department, and explosive ordnance demolition personnel from the Marine Corps Air Station, Yuma, uh, responded to the scene to assist in the removal of the materials. Law enforcement personnel are still searching for Blovins. Well, an early morning uh, hit and run uh, accident resulted in extensive damage to two fences. The accident occurred at 1 a.m. Sunday in the 1000 block of Woodward Avenue in El Centro. A car ran into uh, fences at two homes and also a parked car. Several subjects were seen running from the scene, one wearing a white hoodie and the other a black hoodie. The subjects were last seen heading uh, westbound from the accident scene. Investigating officers uh, contacted the emergency departments at both local hospitals to see if anyone had showed up for medical attention. The investigation of the accident is continuing. 
An accident uh, late Friday night uh, ended, ended in an arrest. The accident was uh, reported shortly before midnight Friday at Dannenberg and Crookshank Roads. There were no injuries, but one of the drivers was arrested after fa uh, failing a sobriety test. The 36-year-old man was booked at Imperial County Jail on charges of driving under the influence. And finally, the latest unemployment report released. The report is for the month of December. The report released by the Local Market Information Division of the Employment Development Department. Imperial County unemployment uh, last month was reported at 18.3%. That is down slightly from the November unemployment rate of 18.9%. It is above the year-ago estimate of 15.2%. This compares to an unadjusted uh, unemployment rate of 5.1% for California and 3.5% uh, for the nation during the same period. The report indicates in November there were 13,500 eligible workers unemployed out of a labor force of 74,000. Imperial County ended the year with the highest unemployment rate in the state of California. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has a happy hour every single day from 3 to 6? With specials on fried machaca burrito bites, RV nachos, mini tostadas, and more. Plus $2 off tall beers and shot and drink specials. Ready for a fast and inexpensive lunch? Get one of our weekday lunch specials that include a soft drink for only 8 to $10. With tons of TVs, we've got you covered for any sport you want to watch. Burgers and Beer, with five locations. Proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer, for the best burger in town. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says another round of rain will traverse the region today. Another weak disturbance will dive across parts of the southwestern U.S. Thursday, potentially helping to spark isolated showers. Temperatures will run below normal through much of the week before high pressure helps to warm us up and dry us out as we head into next weekend. 66 the high in the valley yesterday, 54 the overnight low. Today, showers and possibly a thunderstorm, mainly before 4 p.m. today. Then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 4 p.m. Look for a high near 62. East-southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming south. There is a 90% chance of precipitation. Tonight, a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 p.m. It'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 52. East-southeast wind, 5 miles an hour, becoming northwest in the evening. A 30% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a high near 72. North-northwest wind, 5 to 15 miles an hour, becoming west-southwest in the afternoon. Those winds could gust as high as 20 miles an hour. 56 degrees, 94% relative humidity, wind out of the east at 3 to 7 miles an hour. Local news, page 2, brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. We want you. Volunteers of America Southwest is hiring teachers right now. Work where you make a difference. Come work at Early Head Start El Centro. Volunteers of America employees enjoy great benefits with medical, dental, vision, and retirement plans, along with paid vacation and sick leave. If you have at least two years of experience working in a classroom or group setting with infants, toddlers, or preschoolers, then we have a job for you right now. Do good work that touches the mind, body, heart, and spirit. Call 760-322-1420 or apply online at boasw.org. We want you to help us help these families by hiring you. Make the call at 760-322-1420 or online at boasw.org and discover all the great opportunities that await you. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. 
NFL action. On Saturday, the Ravens ripped the Texans 34-10. 49ers held on and beat the Packers 24-21 with a missed field goal by the Pack. And it was the Buccaneers and the Lions. The Lions prevailed 31-23. The Chiefs, they beat the Bills 27-24. And again, a missed field goal is uh, the difference in the game. Coming up this Sunday, it'll be the Chiefs and the Ravens. We've got games starting at noon on AM 1230, the NFC Championship game. It'll be the Lions and the 49ers right after the Chiefs and the Ravens. We got game on AM 1230 KXO. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And in other NFL news, the Eagles fired demoted defensive coordinator Sean Desai, according to multiple reports, and... The Chicago Bears are finalizing a deal to make Shane Waldron their next offensive coordinator. Turning to the NBA, it was the Lakers pounding the Trailblazers 134-110. Suns over the Pacers 117-110. Celtics beat the Rockets 116-107. Nuggets uh, whipped the Wizards 113-104. Magic overhauled the Heat, 105-87. And it was the Clippers with a win. They topped the Nets, 125-114. to Oh, did I mention the Suns, 117. The Pacers, 110. And step aside, Coach K. Stanford's Tara Vanderveer is now the winningest basketball coach in NCAA history. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Stanford ladies coach. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full-color brochures, blueprints, and high-speed copies to business forms and everything else in between. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. U.S. stocks rallied powerfully last week after uh, a uh, bit of uh, a stretch of doldrums. And, uh, well, if the market can cling to those gains, that could bode well for the rest of the year. The major Wall Street indexes started the year by breaking a nine-week streak of gains that was powered by rising optimism. The Federal Reserve will nail a soft landing or bring down inflation without triggering mass unemployment. But last week, all three major indexes turned positive for the year as tech stocks led the broader market higher. Meanwhile, Macy's has rejected a $5.8 billion offer to take the 165-year-old retailer private, announcing late yesterday that the unsolicited proposal lacks compelling value. 
Last month, Ark House Management, a real estate-focused investing firm, and Brigade Capital Management, a global asset manager, offered to buy the remaining Macy's shares it doesn't own at a 32% premium. The company yesterday responded to the pro proposal more than a month that was offered, disclosing in a statement that its board of directors and management has, term has determined not to move forward. Looking at uh, the big board right now, the gains continue. The Dow up 178 points at 38.041. The S&P 500 up 13 at 48.52. The NASDAQ up 41 at 15.351. Gold off 250 an ounce. And oil up a buck 33 a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. Showers and possibly a thunderstorm are possible mainly before 4 p.m., then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 4. Look for a high today near 62. East-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation, 90%. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and a half inch are possible. Tonight, a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 p.m., then a slight chance of showers between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. It'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 52. East-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour becoming northwest, a 30% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with a high near 72. North-northwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour becoming west-southwest in the afternoon. Right now, downtown, 56 degrees, 94% relative humidity. Wind out of the south-southeast, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Reported mist in several locations throughout the valley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal on the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. CBS News, just ahead. <laughs> KXO El Centro on AM 1230 KXO. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Steve Kathan. A day before the Republican presidential primary in New Hampshire. Very exciting time. I look forward to this every single four years. But I will tell you that this year I am still completely undecided. The decision for voters is essentially between former President Trump and Nikki Haley. Ron DeSantis quit the race yesterday. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns. We've seen kind of the coalescing of the Republican Party around Donald Trump at a pretty quick pace. And that shows kind of how much of an uphill climb this is for Haley because she's uh, trying to appeal to independent voters here in New Hampshire, but we'll still also need support from Republican base voters as well. A juror's illness has forced postponement of the defamation trial for former President Trump for at least a day. CBS's Errol Barnett is in New York covering. The judge has decided to put a pause on everything so there will be no testimony today as they await for the COVID result from one of the jurors. They've now also set up a phone number for other jurors who feel as if they may have uh, symptoms. For the moment, it means the former president, Donald Trump, won't testify today. Overseas now. <laughs> Relatives of Israelis held hostage by Hamas in Gaza, disrupting a parliament committee session today in Jerusalem, demanding action. From the U.S. military, word that a rescue effort is now a recovery effort. CBS's Cammy McCormick with the latest on two American Navy SEALs who were lost in the Arabian Sea. A 10-day search is in and the Navy SEALs are now considered deceased. Their names haven't been released. They were on a mission to board a ship and confiscate Iranian-made weapons when one went under in heavy seas, and a teammate went in to try and save him. 
Big changes on the weather map as temperatures begin to rise up after a bitter cold snap that affected tens of millions. Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen. If we take the wind chills, which were minus 40, minus 50 degrees or so, and then factor in that we are going to actually get to 40, 50, maybe even 60 degrees in some of these areas, that is an increase of what you feel of about 100 degrees over the last week or so. The Supreme Court's rejected an appeal from a former business part partner of Hunter Biden who was looking to overturn his criminal conviction for securities fraud. And the high court says it will hear an appeal from Oklahoma death row inmate Richard Glossop. He was sentenced in a 1997 murder for hire of the owner of the motel where he worked. Oklahoma's Republican Attorney General says Glossop did not get a fair trial. Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 135 points. This is CBS News. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. The Introducing the new Swiffer Power Mop the all-in-one tool that gives you a mop and bucket clean in half the time. The solution's built right in, so no heavy bucket. And the pad has hundreds of scrubbing strips to get deep into grout. Don't mop harder, mop smarter. Whisper Power Mop! Whisper Power Mop! Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more, up to $100. Ends 210. Visit staples.com slash print for details. British doctors are being urged not to report women who obtain abortions illegally. Abortion is legal here in the UK up to the 24th week of pregnancy, but only in approved clinics. Women who end their own pregnancy themselves are breaking the law. But now the Royal College of Gynecologists and Obstetricians has ordered British healthcare workers not to report such women to the police, saying they need psychological support, not a criminal record. And that patient confidentiality and care outweigh the obligation to report illegality. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. Also in the UK, health officials urging millions of parents to book their kids for missed measles, mumps, and rubella shots. There's been a sharp increase in the number of measles cases and the lowest vaccination rates in a decade there. There were 250 confirmed measles cases in parts of England last year, mostly in children under 10. Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. 